guys welcome back to my channel my name is Fola and as you already know this is unsolicited with Fola <laughs> guys merry christmas and happy new year you know compliments of the season to everybody um the year is coming to an end or it has come to an end already i don't know by the time you're watching this video anyway it falls in just accept it the year is coming to an end and you know everybody likes to do that new year new me new year new me new year me <laughs> i don't really do that i'm not like new year new me because you can't just automatically transform because it's a new year but i'm big on actually looking back on how your year went and trying to pick out lessons from it i did that last year 2021 and it really really helped me this year i know i didn't make a video on this because i wasn't even really in the frame of mind to come and sit down and be talking about how 2021 went for me because 2021 was a really difficult year for me but anyways i did the self-reflection i reflected on the year and i picked out lessons and i you know i also made plans for 2022 and it was really really helpful for me this year so i said that okay this time i'm just going to come and make a video and share um some of these tips with you guys some of things i learned and also things i'm looking forward to working on in 2023 i hope you guys find it helpful stay tuned let's get into it so i'm trying not to make this video very long because people get tired when you video you know it's very long anyways the first thing i'm going to start with um or the first thing i'm going to discuss in this video are things i learned in 2022 and because i feel like they are self-explanatory i'm not really going to go deep into talking about them i'm just going to list them out one by one and if you have any questions on any of them or if you need me to expand more on any of them you can just drop it in the comment section and i will do that so the first thing i learned last year i know some people will be like are you just learning these things <laughs> well you know when you say you learn something or you take something from an experience it might it might not be that you've never heard of it before or you don't know that such exists or nobody has ever told you this thing it just means that this year you actually literally experienced and came to the realization that this thing is this thing i don't know if that makes sense so basically that's what i mean by things i learned like in 2022 somebody might have told me we all know these things exist in fact you guys are watching it already know about these things but you know there are moments that make you actually realize and understand that this is actually this thing and then you decide to actually take that lesson and apply it to your life so basically that is what i mean by these are things i learned this year so on that note to start with the first thing i actually took from 2022 was to judge by the end and not the beginning and this is because 2020 for, for me did not really start on a good notes like the first six months were terrible if you know me personally from january to i think may the ending of may i was unemployed i didn't have like a um I didn't have a source of income i had a business i was doing but i didn't have like a i don't know the word that has left my head i didn't have like a stable source of income so the first six months were really difficult for me apart from being unemployed there were a lot of other things that i was going through that i can't really discuss on here i like it was just like why why is this happening to me this year i thought this year was supposed to start on a good note <laughs> but along the line i mean we're in december now and I look back at 2020 and i'm like wow this year has been a wonderful one it's not just about the fact that i got a job or the fact that i got married there are a lot of other things that have happened to me this year like i said i might not be able to share them but that made me realize that when things are happening to you you need to understand that it's just a process and it's not like this is not how it's going to always be so that's the first thing i took out of 2022 you judge by the end and not the beginning you know they usually say if you if, if it's not if it's not um if it's not good yet then it's not the end i don't know there's a thing that you know goes like that anyway so that's the first lesson the second one is some miracles are a result of efforts hard work and consistency i know that um i'm not trying to be spiritual here so a lot of people think miracles are things that just spring up and happen out of the blue things that you did not plan most people have that um perspective on miracles but i've come to understand that sometimes some things that seem like miracles to people are things that 
they have actually worked for they have been consistent ads and they've put in so much effort so by the time the result comes out like this it just looks like a miracle to even them or to other people that may be looking at them so it's really important that if you want something if you're praying for something sometimes you just have to put in hard work you have to be consistent you have to put in effort you can't just like assume that oh miraculously it's going to work you know and being in the age of social media people tend to believe that so many things are miracles like it's just miraculous <laughs> it's just miraculously going to happen to you no it does not work like that sometimes you have to put in so much effort into something the fact that I don't, want to, I don't want to give a personal example but that's another thing i took from 2022 sometimes miracles are a result of hard work consistency and so much so much effort and prayer and so so the third one i um the third thing i took from 2022 is that you can only give what you have in you and i know um this saying is usually likened to giving like material or physical things but this year i really understood that it had it actually applies to us as human beings so you can't give something that you're not feeling or something that you currently don't have in you like i said the first six months for me were very very difficult i was in a very bad place in fact most times i was depressed like in the first six months of this year i was depressed and i wasn't really happy and i noticed that that period most of the emotions i could give to people around me my husband my friends were like anger or you know you just be cranky because at that point i wasn't really 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 happy all the time and this was one big lesson i learned when you see people that are rude people that are um always angry or people that just outrightly look like they always give bad vibes or bad and um, bad energy it's because that's what they have in them and this can be anybody so one thing i learned is you have to be intentional about what you choose to fill yourself up with because it is what you have in you that you're going to give out to people if there's no two ways about it you can't pretend to be happy to others when you're sad inside eventually it will come out and show so i don't know if you guys get this saying but that's one big thing i took out so when i'm rude to people i, I just i just like call myself back like okay it's like i'm currently not in a good like space of mind you don't want to be but you are just that because that's what you're feeling at that moment and that's what you have in you so we need to learn to fill ourselves up with good things so that we can give out good things to people including kindness love and joy and happiness and yada 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 so another thing i learned last year is that sometimes you have to you know go back start all over again to achieve your goals you have to take a step back and i'm saying this because to explain this one i might have to say like a long story but i think i said it in my last video that i took a step back in my career to you know um figure out what i want to do and to help make my future bright <laughs> So this is something that a lot of people don't usually know or sometimes they feel um, ashamed to do. I don't know. It took me a while to realize that there's nothing wrong with going back and starting all over again. If you feel like how the part you've been working on is not clear, it's not direct and it's not taking you to where you want to be. So that's one thing I learned. There's nothing wrong with it. You, you go back, you start all over again, drop your pride, drop your drop everything forget everything it is that you know and just go back and start again there's nothing wrong with it i did that in 2022 and it really paid off for me trust me you will come out bigger better brighter and it's not always easy i know it's not always easy to go back and start again <laughs> it is not entirely easy it is <laughs> challenging <laughs> and it can really really be depressing at times but trust me it is worth it so that's another thing i took out took out of 2022 last thing that i learned from this year or that i'm taking with me to 2023 is that you have to be intentional about what it is that you want it's not just saying that you want this you want that and you're not doing anything about it you really have to be intentional you have to work towards it i think you can link this to the one where um, that says some miracles are a result of you know hard work and consistency but this one is totally different because it requires you being intentional it requires you actually planning taking steps to doing what it is that you want a very easy example for me would be 
last year december i resigned from um the place i was working before i told you guys i started the year unemployed so i resigned from the place i was working before because the job was not giving me um satisfaction and it was like uh, um i've just been working 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 because i want to earn money i didn't even know which career path i was going on so i was very depressed about my career last year and i told myself that hmm, this 2022 i don't want to do this nonsense again because seven years since i left university and i can't really say that this is what i am if they ask me for like, what is, what do you do <laughs> Who are you? I can't say. So I decided to be intentional about that. And that's why it took me about six months to start working again. Because I said I was going to take my time, no matter how long, to find what it is that I want to do. I'm not just going to take any job because I want to go out or I need money. I'm going to find a job that's going to help me and put me on the career path I want to be on. And so guys, those are the, I think there are six Five or six things i'm taking from 2022 five or six lessons that i learned this year that were really really helpful for me so one that i'm going to be focusing on the major one i'm going to be focusing on in 2023 is the last one that says you have to be intentional about whatever it is that you want because that is what's going to help you achieve your goals honestly and it's a lot more deeper than just being than just being intentional but because of time and i don't want this video to be lengthy i cannot really go into details about it i'll probably make another video on that but anyways in the spirit of being intentional about things i want i'm going to just share like a few things that i plan to work on in 2023 i'm sharing this things because i want to <laughs> sort of have um an account account oh jesus accountability um video out there to you know remind me that this is what i said i want to do and i'm doing it why does it seem hard to speak english sometimes <laughs> so um this is the first one is the first one is friendships actually hmm. i'm a very friendly person but i have issues with managing friendships like i don't know how to and i think this problem stems from the fact that i like to mind my business a lot i don't know how to pry i don't even just know how to manage a friendship that is just the honest truth let me not give too much excuses i don't know how to do it i don't know how to do it so this year or rather in 2023 i am trying to learn how to manage friendships like i really need to learn i think i'm even going to be looking up courses on friendships <laughs> and managing them honestly that's one thing i want to be intentional about about making new friendships and, and maintaining them and also maintaining the current friendships i have that's one thing so you guys should remind me at the or come and ask me at the end of 2023 how did i do with this thing was i able to finally learn how to be a friend and manage friendships Listen. the second one would be of course my youtube channel and my podcast so hmm i know this one i've said it like one million times on this place that i want to <laughs> be consistent with youtube and putting out content but it's just so hard i really admire people that can do this thing seamlessly like kudos to you guys it's not like sometimes it's like i don't have the time sometimes it's like i'm not just motivated i just feel like ugh, carry fun and start recording videos so in 2023 i'm really really like trying and working towards being intentional about my channel and my podcast there are a lot of things that i need to you know um aid this intentionality and i'm working on it well let's just see how it goes i hope i do better next year really <laughs> um the third thing i'm going to I'm, I'm planning or working on or i want to work on next year is my my faith yes i'm working on you know growing spiritually yeah and i think this is something that everybody should work on just my opinion because we cannot get through this life if there's another thing i've learned in 2022 that i probably did not mention you cannot get through this life without god like every single day you need him if you need him if you finish using him today you're going to still need him tomorrow and to do this you need to have like a very 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 good spiritual relationship with him so this is one thing i'm trying to be intentional about i want to grow in my faith and my spirituality and 
I want to put myself in um, relationships and friendships that will actually help boost this so that's another thing i'm looking forward to improving in 2020 last one this is not the last one but this is the last one i can see on here you know because i have to be private <laughs> So the last one is just my personal growth as a person. I don't know. I feel like all these things add up to personal growth if you think about it. But well, yeah, that's like another thing I want to be intentional about. Just developing myself, feeding myself with, you know, content that is going to help me as a person. This is very, very important to filter what you take in on a daily, especially because social media is such a wide place there's so many things on the internet if you're not careful you can start picking up rubbish you can start learning what you're not meant to learn so i think that's one thing i want to be intentional about next year what i take in i want to take in things that will help me do better and improve and you know be a good person so help me god lastly as a final note um this is for people that probably didn't have a good year or probably did all these things and still feel like oh the year did not turn out well or they didn't achieve what they were you were meant to achieve one thing we need to understand is that timing is very very important timing of things you might think that all these things i i, I have listed out that i want to achieve in 2020 might not work out and it might not be because i didn't make efforts it might just be because it's not yet time for me to you know achieve all these things but it doesn't mean that your efforts are wasted or everything it is that you've done have gone down to dream and because you had a terrible year does not mean you had a terrible life i mean they say a bad day is not a bad life so 2022 was not good 2023 might be better 2023 might not be better 2024 might be better i don't know we never know but we just still have to keep working praying and you know being intentional towards having a good life that's just it i don't know if that makes sense either <laughs> anyways guys that's all on today's video i tried to make it as short as possible like if you guys notice i was just speeding and talking really fast so i hope you guys don't get tired in the middle of this video thank you all for watching to my new subscribers i see you i see you i see you i know some of you i forced you to subscribe to my channel yes i'm not gonna lie thank you for allowing me force you but to those who came willingly willingly those who came willingly thank you so much for subscribing to my channel i'm going to make another video to tell you what my channel is about but in the meantime you can just go through my old videos to you know see and watch what i have thank you all compliments of season happy new year we love from Poland.